Hello, blog buddies. Happy Monday, everybody. It's me, Ross. Did you have a good weekend? Daria, did you have a good weekend? Yes. Can I tell you? My weekend was lovely. Um, I don't know if you checked the blog earlier or can see below me right now, but I got a new bike. Oh my God, did I get a new bike. I got the bike that I always imagined I would have. I saw this one in Target a couple weeks ago and I um, was like, um, that one. Sorry. Okay. So Darius was having a very official, important phone call, right? Yeah. And everything's fine. So I'm a loud talker. So I didn't want to um, be talking when she was doing business. Thank anyway, you. so I got the bike and I, um, I, I, I'm obsessed. And I went to, the I rode my bike to Starbucks, like, you know, just like a person on a bike. Mm -hmm. I um, rode it to the farmer's market. Oh, 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 this was yesterday. And I put it in, um, a stra I got strawberries. When I put my backpack on the bottom, and then I got a, a artichoke and a lemon, which I roasted last night for dinner. Divine with garlic and a little sea salt. Are you kidding me? Anyway, and then I bought two bouquets of flowers, and I just shoved them in my backpack, and they were like up here. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm that guy. So instead, I'm gonna um, get a basket for my bike, and I'm gonna be that guy. Gonna that. I'm gonna be that guy that has a basket on his bike. And it's like no shame. I don't even care. Don't even care. Anyway, um, so hey, we gotta talk about stuff. Blog buddies, something very important. Very important. Here, okay, let me start this conversation like this. Like this. I love this blog so much. We started, this blog is so much more than just a blog. It's such a community of people who come here every day. And then a bunch of you not only come here to, part, like, enjoy it, but you, like, dive in and get to, like, hang out and talk and get to know each other and be bop boop in the comment section. And, and my great pride uh, in the blog is not necessarily the content that I provide, but the community that, that comes out of that content, right? The, the, the friends we get, we get to make, I get to make with you, you make with each other, and we get to have a dialogue in the comment section. It's just so much fun, and I'm so proud of it, and it was so unexpected when I started this blog, but it's been really like my pride my pride and joy, the community we've, we've created, because if, a lot of times you go online and you check in like the comment section of things, and it is not pretty. <laughs> People, when, when, on other blogs. yeah, on other blogs, when, uh, people can have the opportunity to be anonymous a lot of times, um, I feel like the dark side of them comes out because you can't really spew that sort of vile negativity in the real world without people judging you, but behind the, what, the, the sheath of, you know, uh, online anonymity, you can mm -hmm. sort of be whoever you want. And anyway, so that comes out a lot. And, you know, for those of you who have been around and been active bloggers and other blogs, you've seen it. We've managed to avoid it 99.9% .9 of the time here on the Ross blog. We have yeah. some bad apples who spoil the barrel. Bunch. 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 Bad apples spoil the... Bunch. Okay. I don't know that One saying. bad apple spoils, spoils a bunch. bunch. Yeah. So, for the two years, there have been some bad apples that have come, and they just rot, and sort of we all sort of move on. One bad apple has stuck around and turned out to be one of those poisonous apples from the fairy tales that yes. someone gave Cinderella Snow or White. Snow White. Yeah, so I'm gonna be. Tyra Banks. I'm gonna be really honest with you. The reason there wasn't a talkie on um on um right. Friday is because I filmed one and decided not to upload it. Because here's the deal: there's one particular bad apple. Uh, can I say? It? Yeah. Roland. His name. He knows. Everyone in the comment section knows. And um, if you go to the comment section a lot, you see Roland spewing sort of off kilter negativity a lot so you, you're if you go to the conversation you're super familiar with this person what you don't know is that he comments as more than one person constantly multiple people creates people and then they takes sort of identities. take people's it steals identities and whatnot and what you also don't know is that it goes much farther than that he's been sort of like harassing me personally posting my and daria posting my um Oh, by the way, Daria is heavily involved in this conversation because she is the digital media supervisor for the Tonight Show. So anything branded with Tonight Show that's online, it has to filter through Daria, and she's in charge. I mean, she has a real job. <laughs> Who knew? I just happened to share an office and be friends. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, so we just happen to be friends, share an office, but she has a real job. So we are taking this very, very seriously. But for two years, not only has Roland been um, pooping on the. Um, Ross blog comment section with hate speech, with hate speech, but also affect uh, sending me things, you know, hate mail, um, breaking rules, break breaking all the rules here. Um, but, but I mean, I I don't I want to talk a little bit more about it. rather than just breaking the rules on the Ross blog. This this man has been sending me threatening things, posting my address on the blog, saying he was coming, um, and he recently started making videos with like spew, spewing vile stuff about me and about 
bloggers and whatnot. And so what I filmed on Friday was because I've just had enough of it and I've tried everything. I've tried speaking with him on the phone. We've recorded our conversation with an NBC official. I've tried to um, threaten legal action. I've tried to everything, you know, because I, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want there to be negativity. If we can fix it without having to be to the next level, I would love yeah. to do that. Um, and so just at the end of my rope on Friday, I filmed a thing, not being negative, but I edited in those videos he made on YouTube. Now, listen. We we have we keep records of all his comments of all the hate mail he sends me and everything. Uh, we've downloaded all his videos. We have he, we have those, and I'm sure you know a blogger sent it to me, so I'm sure those videos are out there. You could find them if you wanted. NBC authorities have them. NBC authorities have them. I but what I did on Friday is I edited it into a talkie, and I was going to show you because I thought maybe just maybe the last thing that I could try would be to make his negativity public and put a real face on it, so it wasn't anonymous from someone with their keyboard. You know what I mean? Like it was his face doing it. And I thought maybe him knowing that people in the real world were seeing that and that it wasn't, that it, it did have a, a an effect, a cause and effect, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Would help. Um, and so I was going to post that. And then like, as I was clicking upload, I was really thinking about it. And I decided I will not let that have a platform on this community that we created. It's bad enough that that exists yep. in the, you know, the the community, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be front page news. Yep, you're right. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There will, yeah. Because if so, then that kind of negativity wins. So, what I'm asking you to do, and you know, I've been getting emails, because it's gotten worse recently in the comment section. Um, I've been getting comments from people saying, Ross, he's hijacked the comment section. I won't be there anymore. Um, some of you blog buddies who have become friends with have called me and said, like, this is this is affecting people. Um, you know, we, we don't want to be part of it. I don't want to read that. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to. Daria's gotten emails. People don't want to scroll through, like, you know, four crazy comments from a one bad apple to get to their, you know, their their blog buddies' comments. So um, what I want, and people are engaging, and it becomes a fight and all that. But what I want you to know is this, okay? Because I thought about it all weekend long. I didn't know how to handle it. I thought putting that blog up on Friday would have been a mistake. But I want you to know this, okay? This blog is something I'm so proud of. This blog and this community, no matter where this blog goes, whether I go with NBC, when Tysha's, this community will stay intact. Nothing will ever, and I will fight to keep it intact, okay? Because I love it. And you need to know that everything is being done on our end with NBC legal team, with the tech team with everything we are doing fine but I won't stand for it and we have to ignore it and I had to address it because why because well, there's no there's no going back there's no going back we and can't just ignore it we have to yeah. address it because also a lot of people don't read through all the comments yeah. so they don't necessarily know yeah and the bad apple needs to know that there will be no forgiveness or acceptance mm -hmm. here it's beyond that yeah we've asked him to leave and it is horrible it's so that. what I want you to do instead now is just flip it rather than highlighting the negativity and being mean, which would have happened on Friday if I would have posted that talkie, even though it was quite good. Yes. And I was, and I was quite stern, wasn't I? You were. I was, I can be stern. It was hot. It was hot, right? <laughs> I had a whip and a leather bustier. I, I apologize. That guy. That, that went guy. too far. No, that's, I'm not that guy. He's a basket. <laughs> I'm a basket on a bike guy, but not, not that guy. That guy. Um, but I want you to do instead because I really think I need it and I think y'all need it. I think we all need it. So I want you to do the comic session and today's going to be first annual, first official Ross Blog put up day. <laughs> put out? Put up, not put out. Sorry. Put up. Where we go and give each other compliments. I need, I need a better title than that. Do good. Do good day. Good do. Say good. Blog Buddy Appreciation Day. Um, what about first official Ross Blog Put Up Day? <laughs> We're going to stick with that. That's what we call them in elementary school, put up instead of a put down. Oh, really? Yeah, we call them put ups. I was a conflict manager. You were? Yeah, so I got to do research, uh, recess. I'd walk around. And, like, if there was a conflict, I had a visor and it said conflict manager is blue with white writing, and I would solve conflict. Anyway, we're out of time. We're, like, so out of time. We're over time. So have a good day. We don't have time for a bumper. <laughs> we're going to be just fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, vlog buddies. Put each other up in the comic session. It's put up. Not a put down. It's put up. Okay, bye.